everyone and welcome back to my channel my name is Emma aka Flares and today we're going to be doing a video all about replacements for simple panels with the update we got a lot of new items and I for one am having a lot of fun experimenting with those new items and I found some of these can be used as alternatives to simple panels no longer do we have to use custom designs on those panels we have lots of other opportunities Obviously, simple panels are still great, but I just want to show you guys the alternative ways and alternative items that you can use on your builds. So if you like the sound of that, stay tuned. If you're new here and you're not already subscribed, please go ahead and subscribe. And if you like the video, please remember to click that like button. Let's get into it. So I couldn't do this video and not mention the collection of the castle items that we have as part of the update. If you're struggling to find these, then you need to check your Nook's shopping app. These I found there myself, um, but obviously there are alternative ways to get hold of them by trading with friends, etc. But these are great items. A while ago, I did a whole video about how to make um, simple panel builds. And one of those that featured was a castle. Um, and it doesn't even compare to using these items these are absolutely fabulous they come in a whole bunch of varieties and they're just really really nice looking just be warned the items might rack up in price because you are going to want to build a nice big area for them if you're looking for inspiration on how to build amazing castles please be sure to check out my friend, my lovely friend, April, aka Honeyland Horizon. She has a few castle tutorials on her channel and she has done some beautiful builds. So definitely go and check her out if you're looking for some amazing castle inspiration if you've managed to get your hands on these i'll link her channel in the description below so be sure to check her out but yeah these castle panels they are so amazing a hundred times better than using simple panels with those custom designs in at number two i'm going to talk about the curtain partitions not long ago, it was customary that if you wanted to have curtains indoor in your house, you would have to get a design and put them on a simple panel. Now, with the update, we have our very own curtains, which are retractable. <laughs> How cool is that? So you can open and you can shut them. You can put them in front of windows for your interiors, or maybe you want to use them outdoors. That's fine too. But either way, I think these are a great addition to the game. They will really up your interiors and you can get them in a few different colors. If you want to get your hands on these, you can purchase them from your Nook's Cranny if you're lucky enough to get them. Or you will also see them in Happy Home Paradise in your Pokey shop. In at number three, we have another furniture item. This is the fence. Now, don't get this confused with actual fencing. This is a furniture item. It's not a fencing item, but these are really, really cool. They're quite tall, which is great. Means that they can act as a backdrop to go behind things. I've used them along the side of my garden center to block the way, which I really, really like. This color, is only available from Reese and Cyrus because it's a rusted kind of appearance which I love and is really fitting with my current island but you can get them in a whole bunch of colors including white blue etc if you're wanting to get your hand on these fences be sure to be checking your nooks cranny and your happy home paradise I just think they're a really nice item and they will be perfect for all of those city islands whether you choose to go for a bright color or even like i have and the rusted next in at number four we have the medieval building sides these are beautiful beautiful items and they're so fabulous for creating those buildings or pretend houses that you might have on your island they create that wonderful illusion of something that is really really authentic so these come in a whole bunch of customizations i've got two here the one on the left is rotated back and that's simply because I want to show you that you don't always have to have them forward facing. Maybe you don't like the angle of the roof on the front and that's fine because they also work really well like this and on the right you can see how the um, roof actually looks. 
If you rotate them around, again, you can use the sideways if you want to kind of make a whole square, um, or maybe even you just like them how they are. Either way works, but don't forget to rotate them to really create those angles and different aspects of them. Don't forget about that. If you are looking to get your hand on some of these, be sure to keep checking that Nooks shopping app. That is kind of my number one tip at the moment to get hold of new items. Nooks shopping app and your Nooks cranny are the ones to go for. So I hope you like these as well. I think that they're just slightly, no, they're definitely an upgrade on the simple panels for sure. In at number five, we have the cave. Now, you might have literally been living under a rock if you hadn't have seen the builds where people would put the stone arch and the simple panels behind to give the illusion of a cave or a tunnel. Well, now we don't have to do that. We actually have a cave item and it's so cool. Look, you can actually see inside the cave. It's really, really amazing with the kind of rocks deep in the dark there i really really love it again these come in a few different varieties i really like this one with kind of the light stone and the vines around just really really beautiful item no matter what kind of island you're doing i think you should do your best and try and include this because i love it that much for number six we have the poster stand Long gone are the days of having simple panels outside your museum with some information on. Now you can have dedicated poster stands for your shops, for your builds. It will look amazing. You can custom design them and add what you want. Maybe you want to use one of the existing varieties or maybe you want to add something special for yourself. These come in a whole bunch of colours and they're just a really, really nice item to be able to display some really really important information <laughs> in at number seven i want to talk about the projectors these are such a nice item for a long time people were making outdoor cinemas using simple panels and rolling credits on them with a really nice design but now we can actually watch things how cool are these you guys can make your own cinemas using the projector item and i think I can't remember what it's called but there's another item which will help it give the effect that this is kind of being displayed um via or projected um onto the projector screen i'm saying projector so many times i'm <laughs> sorry about that um i did find this in my nook shopping app but i think that these will make the difference when it comes to making those outdoor cinema areas and they flash up different images which is so cool um so i love these um, definitely another upgrade on the simple panels. For number eight, I've come inside because we're gonna be talking about the wall partitions. The wall partitions, are, you're only able to use them indoors, which is a shame, but it makes sense. Um, I do love them. Previously, I had used simple panels to divide up my wall space and kind of create the illusion of a hallway. Now you don't need to use those simple panels. You can do it with partitions. And I love the fact that they use or adopt the wallpaper that you've got placed down. This is an item that is a DIY recipe, which you obtain from Nico after completing eight houses, and then he'll give you the recipe. The recipe only takes three wood and three clay to make, which is really nice. It's not customizable because as I said, it does take on your wallpaper, but it's a really, really great interior item. And the things that I've seen people do with these are just amazing. So don't forget about these for when you're doing your interiors. The next item I'm going to talk about is the Taco Noma. I hope I've said that right. This is a heavily Japanese influenced item and it's really, really pretty. Um, I really love it. If you're going for a Japanese island, don't forget to find this one. But if you're not going for a Japanese island and you're, you don't want the art there, it would also be a great tool to use to add height to builds. Um, it's got a really, really nice color. This one does anyway, but some of the other ones, the variations I've seen, particularly a really, really nice green one. It's kind of like the soothing tea wallpaper um, backdrop and you could use it outside, inside, whatever works for you. And the final item in at number 10 is the storefront. I think I've probably saved my favorite until last totally unintentional but I've brought you back down to my entrance to show you how I've used it in practice 
Not only have I used the front facing storefront up the top, as you can see, I've also reversed it around and used the back of it because I really love the wood effect and it's got some cool wanted posters on which are um, just interesting. I thought they kind of acted as a bit of a news bulletin and kind of fitted in nicely with my entrance. But these as well come in a whole host of beautiful colours. They're really, really great for rustic islands, farm islands. They're just all just wonderful um i really didn't anticipate an item like this and i'm so glad that we have it it's just really versatile again this is another item that i managed to find in my notes cranny or you can buy it in happy home paradise office as well spend your pokey on it it's a really cute item definitely one that i love to see included in builds so there we have it that's number 10 so that's the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you found it helpful. Starting to kind of include and incorporate these new items in your builds is really hard work, but it does pay off because it's nice to see something fresh, something different, and I'm really, really enjoying them. If you have any other ideas for items that you can use instead of simple panels, then please feel free to drop them in the comments. I would love to hear what designs you're coming up with, so definitely share them. Thank you so much for watching. I shall see you again soon with another video. Bye-bye.